shadows. Um, I've got many. And they've got all different things in, including ribbons and different things, which we'll get onto ribbon magic. That's actually my snow ribbon there. But I have many different types of books of shadows, lots and lots of different kinds, and they are filled with recipes, spells, planets, zodiacs, correspondences, and all manner of magical workings. Some even have nature in them. And they have charts in them that we would have written in as well. So it's very important that we do keep a record of our magical practices. It helps us because not everybody has got a brilliant memory. I can't remember what ingredient I used when I did a spell, how I performed the spell. And sometimes we need to refer back to our spells and our charms and our incantations that we may have written about in the Book of Shadows in order to reverse a spell. And yes, sometimes we do need to reverse a spell. Now the other very important utensil that you do need is the candle extremely important. You can have white, but it helps if you've got a number of the various colour correspondences. The other important is the cup. The cup is very important. If you look at it, it's that shape. This cup is symbolic. It is a vessel. Remember when I went outside and we performed the grounding ritual or ceremony and we held our arms up in a Y shape asking the universe to come into us. This is a Y shape, a smaller Y shape. In our ABCs, each and every one of these utensils, resources, as a female or male identity and of course the cup is the female identity and of course the athame for obvious reasons is the male very important many items that we just assume are everyday items but within magic they will have a male or female identity and a male or female usage within a spell or within a charm or with an incantation. Thank you.